If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. It's good morning, boys and girls, to Sunday school online. Today we are going to hear the word of God. But but before that, let's start with the word of prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Please bless us during the service. Bless us, prayer. Amen. Now let's get up and dance for Jesus. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. boys and girls and welcome to another Sunday of church. I hope everyone is doing well and today we're continuing with the lesson about authentic relationships. What did we say authentic means? Authentic means real. How we can continue having real relationships with the people we love. In today's lesson we are talking about the need to be honest. We have to be honest and we have to speak the truth in love and also we have to be gentle. We have to correct each other in a gentle way. So, boys and girls, what do we mean by this lesson? When we are correcting each other, we need to speak in love. For example, if someone has done something wrong and you have seen them do something wrong, and then you're shouting and telling them. And sometimes some boys and girls use bad words. Is that good? No, it is not good. Because that, uh, that child feels very bad for being shouted at and being made fun of. Imagine if this was you being corrected in the same way. So what are we to do? We are to think about what the child has done and then be honest. Think of words that are encouraging, that are kind, that will not hurt the person when we are correcting them. That is what we mean by we speak in love. And for example, we can tell them, ah, 
what you have done is not a good thing but next time you can do it in this way and do not feel so bad but next time try and be encouraging try and not do this that way that way that child will feel that they have done something wrong but they have been corrected by you in a nice way and out of love and then secondly boys and girls when we get upset how do we behave when we are upset huh how do we behave do we say oh i don't want to be your friend anymore i'm not going to share my snacks with you oh i don't want to don't want to then go and then when the person who has upset you at that moment when you are upset do we open our mouths immediately and get back to them and say something bad or do we hold it in and think about what we are saying huh now i have something we should be doing when we are upset and i want us to try and we do it together so when someone makes you upset when someone makes you angry i want us to try very hard and we take a deep breath let's do it together <sighs> and then we count very slowly one to ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Then after we have counted, we are calm and the anger has gone out of us. And now we can be able to reply to the person who has hurt us, the person who has upset us. Remember, we can reply honestly and we say, what you did to me was not good. That is being honest. I am not happy about what you have done to me. That is being honest. And then we can speak in love and gentleness and say, next time kindly do not do such a thing to me because it makes me upset and i would not do something like that to you isn't that nice boys and girls isn't that encouraging so what i want us to do is this week when we are correcting somebody and when we are upset we try and think of gentle words we try and think of honest words we try and think of kind words and speaking in love so that the person who has you're correcting and the person who has upset you is not hurt and you are encouraging them and also in your heart you do not feel like you have hurt that person and that is our lesson for today boys and girls and now welcome to the memory verse Chapter 13, that's 34, and it says, A new command that give you love one another. John chapter 13, verse 34, and it says, A new command that give you love one another. And that was our memory verse for today. Remember to love one another. And also, remember to love God. God and one of the ways you can do that is by giving so yes it's time to give so as always ask mommy ask daddy ask your older siblings to help you give using our church pay bill number listed below and of course as always clap for yourselves for remembering to give money for Jesus and now before we leave I want us to put our hands together bow our heads close our eyes as we say the prayer before we leave dear lord jesus we thank you for today we thank you for today's lesson that teaches us to be honest to speak in love and to correct each other with gentleness we ask the lord god you bless the week ahead even as we go to school even protect our mummies and daddies and remind us always to speak in love and be good boys and girls. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now 
and forevermore. Amen. So have a blessed week. Be gentle. Be kind. See you next week. Bye.